Mama Guy had over 11 million subscribers and was on Forbes' 30 Under 30 Asia list. By late 2023, he had 50 million followers on TikTok. Some thought he was on top of the world. What more could you want than to be rich, famous, and make all your money from doing fun videos on TikTok? But Mama Guy, real name Seo Wanjong, had a dark secret. His pretty, relatable online persona was a mask, and what he did behind closed doors made thousands shiver. How could they follow this monster and not see the truth? Others saw his pretty face in court and thought he just could not have done it. As if real-life monsters have horns and red eyes, Mama Guy is a cautionary tale not to judge a book by its cover. Here is his terrifying story and all the 2024 updates. It was December 2023, and Mama Guy's fans were wondering what was happening. He hadn't posted anything on TikTok since July 20 sequence of that year. This was odd. You know how it goes with influencers. The more they post, the quicker their follower base can grow. And then, they have to keep posting to stay on top of the game. Some fans even feared something terrible had happened to him. They never imagined a scenario where he was the perpetrator. Here's the thing, though. At his internet peak, Mama Guy had 50 million followers. Some were avid fans. They could recognize him anywhere, including a blurred photo shared by law enforcement in South Korea. Many young South Koreans were watching the news, wondering, hey, he looks familiar. What on earth is this about? They regretted turning up the volume. The news reports referred to this suspect as Influencer A. All reports stated the same thing. Influencer A and his male friend were arrested for a horrific count of S.A. against a woman anonymously identified as Woman B. The woman's complaint was truly terrifying. SBS reported, Influencer A and one other man was arrested for sexually assaulting a woman. The incident allegedly transpired after a social gathering where they had drinks with woman B. Subsequently, they took her to the other man's residence and allegedly assaulted her while she was unconscious. Woman B reported the incident to the police, citing that she heard recording noises when she woke up after having fallen asleep and realized she got sexually assaulted by both men. The poor woman was terrorized in every way imaginable and recorded. She felt used and to the point that she had a hard time remembering or accepting the incident. Imagine living with this trauma for the rest of her life. Thankfully, she did remember two crucial clues, the address where she had suffered this horror show and the names of the men. Both were arrested that day. When Seoul authorities came knocking at Mama Guy's apartment, though he refused to open, they had no choice. They phoned the fire department and broke his door, handcuffing him after a short scuffle. Seo Wanjong went down with a bang, and millions of people recognized his blurred photo that day. Up until December 2023, Mama Guy had been a speckle of light in many teens' lives. He was a funny guy posting light-hearted content on his increasingly popular TikTok. Many people couldn't wait to see his jokes every single day, including his trademark high-pitched cry. That's how he grew his follower base back in 2020. He would test various trends on TikTok, and if they were true, he would yell out, Mama, in a funny baby-like voice. Seo Wanjong entered this world on November 19th, 1996, and embarked on his TikTok journey in 2020. By his 27th birthday, he found himself gracing the pages of Forbes magazine, 30 Under 30. Fast forward to 2023, and he was raking in substantial earnings from TikTok, boasting and whopping 55 million followers. As South Korea's most followed non-celebrity TikTok content creator, his daily posts were a staple, delighting his fans and fueling the expansion of his ever-growing fan base. He hardly had any negative comments or faced any online bullying. His posts were just too light-hearted, simple, and approachable to incite any of that. There was nothing about them that might prompt anyone to entertain the thought, could this fellow harbor a darker side? In December 2022, Mama Guy appeared in a Korea Herald interview. He discussed his quick jump to success. Frankly speaking, it was like playing a level-up game, watching the number of my followers go up each time I posted a video. Back then, I was all holed up in my own room. All I did was creating videos, analyzing the contents, and harshly training myself every day. For a while, Mama Guy said he didn't even realize what his online fame meant. He just kept posting and marveling at how quickly his follower base was growing with so little effort. It wasn't until early this year that I started connecting with other creators and noticed the spotlight around me. Earlier this year, 
year, I had traveled to the Philippines and that was the moment I actually realized my global popularity. A group of children were tagging along wherever I went. Before the TikTok gig, Seo Won Jong had a passion for math and science during his elementary school days. Transitioning to middle school, he embraced a stint as a professional boxer before exploring the realm of music production and pursuing a major in sound engineering in college. His family supported him as long as he brought home trophies and diplomas. They were interested in their son achieving academic greatness and getting a high-paying, prestigious job. So when Mama Guy became Mama Guy and raked in big bucks from his TikTok venture, they weren't exactly happy. But when he showed them just how famous he had become, they softened again. In 2023, he was invited to oodles of VIP parties, branding Hugo Boss's fashion show in Milan, participating at a World Influencers and Bloggers event in Monaco, and attending the Cannes Film Festival in France. According to Mama Guy, he inherited a stern perfectionism from his family, who always expected the best from him. Looking back, I think I've always wanted to prove myself. It was all about making the best out of the given 24 hours. I just had to do everything right. Now, I'm more at ease with TikTok, but I had to completely sever myself from the world to fully immerse into this new platform. He also painted himself as quite a shy individual, who only plays in front of the camera because he feels safer inside his home than out and about. I wasn't somebody who could dance and pose in front of a camera. It took me a lot of effort to be able to do that. And to be honest, I think I was more outgoing before I started TikTok. As a creator, I think I work 24 hours. Sometimes I overthink and stress myself out, and I still feel awkward with all the talk and spotlights around me. I'm just trying to be myself as much as possible. But all of this becomes immediately disgusting when you realize what he was doing while giving this interview. Mama Guy was not who he said he was. He enjoyed the attention and he enjoyed painting himself as the guy next door, happy to make people happy. But a man who takes pleasure in abusing vulnerable women is not the guy next door, nor a happy-go-lucky fun person. On December 15th, 2023, the Seoul Gangnam PD announced they would be forwarding Mama Guy's case to the prosecution. Mama Guy would be facing up to seven years in prison for the SA charge. This left people divided. First off, there were so many fans shocked that such a monster can exist behind such a cute facade. I still can't believe it. I'm shocked. I can't believe it. Some were appalled at how short the maximum sentence was for such a heinous crime. Others criticized the justice system for taking this long to handle his case. And many were quick to note the obvious. Never judge a book by its cover. How do they take almost seven months to conclude a case? As the saying goes, don't judge the book by its cover my heart goes to the victims. Sounds serious. He'll probably get a whopping three days in prison and two weeks community service. The last one is a bitter joke. Sadly, it speaks a truth across the globe. SA is often punished very lightly. Insufficient evidence. Cases of my word against his and corrupt officers can lead to these cases never even being prosecuted. Many SA victims live the rest of their lives remembering this horrific incident while no one else believes them. Without a strong support group and a firm justice system, it's hard to move past something as scarring as this. Other people wrote, Why? I mean, why? You destroy your future and everything. Guys, that's why I'm always saying everything on social media is not the true face of people. Guys, seriously, we don't know about behind the story. Now it's time to call mama. Other users found the humor in this dark situation. I stopped trusting the cute ones. You might say this is too heinous of a crime to take lightly, but here's the thing. There are fans out there who never stopped loving Mama Guy. In their heads, he is simply too cute to have committed such a crime. It's easier for them to not believe it than accept that their role model isn't who he says he is. One TikTok user wrote, why seven years? It's too much, poor mama boy. Someone else commented on precisely this phenomenon, waiting for the teenage girl girls to start talking that he should be free because he is sexy sounds about right. Indeed, it's mostly teenage girls who support Mama Guy. While he awaits his trial to be concluded, his case stands as a bitter lesson for everyone online. First off, there are obligations tied to online stardom. Seo Won Jong's situation underscores how crucial integrity and ethical behavior is, especially when you have millions of people admiring you. Influencers, given their sway over others, bear a greater responsibility to conduct 
conduct themselves with care and consideration. Then, we must remember the digital realm carries weight equal to the real world. Appearances can be deceiving, including those of TikTok personalities. It falls upon us to uphold justice and discern when someone's actions warrant disengagement. No matter how young we are, if we learn something we don't like about a person we follow, we can unfollow them and check the sources revealing the information. SEO Wan Zhong should spend a long time in jail and think about what he did before he gets a second chance. Do you think people like him should get a second chance? And how would rehabilitation look in his case? So what are your thoughts on the Mama Guy case? Do you know similar stories? And what do you think a fair punishment is for someone like him? Let me know in the comment down below and don't forget to check the next video.